So what's up guys? I'm pretty sure you already know what this video is about because you clicked on it. But I'm Angel and today I'm gonna just tell how I found out I was pregnant with my second daughter. Okay, so I found out I was pregnant with my daughter when my first daughter had just had her first birthday. So she literally just turned one and then I got pregnant again. I was basically having babies back to back and I was honestly not planning on getting pregnant right away after having my first baby. I was, I was kind of in the mindset of either my first baby was going to be it or I was going to wait until she was at least three before having another baby. But you know what? Things happen and <laughs> yeah, so I ended up getting pregnant. So before I got pregnant with my second daughter, I ended up having a early miscarriage. It was really, really hard for me when I had my miscarriage. And when I first found out I was pregnant, I mean, of course I was happy because I, I love, I believe that all kids are blessings regardless on if I was intending on having a baby at that time. So I was excited and I was already looking up ideas on Pinterest on how I was going to tell people in my family that I was pregnant. And then it was like a few days later then I started bleeding like a lot. Like I woke up and I was just in like blood and it was disgust it was disgusting and it was the like probably like one of the worst things I've ever experienced. So anyway, um I had an early miscarriage and then after having my miscarriage, I really started thinking more and more about having another baby, but I would like talk to my husband and my husband wasn't really ready. So we were not trying to get pregnant, but I was not like, I was not close minded about getting pregnant. Like if it, if it happened, it happened. So the day I found out I was pregnant, it was just a normal day. and. I went to Walmart and while I was at Walmart, I was just grocery shopping and some something just kept telling me you should buy a pregnancy test. That little crazy girl voice in my head was just like, you should buy a pregnancy test because I mean, why not? You you should just try and see if you're pregnant. And I, I, I kind of started getting irritated because I'm like, I'm not going to waste money on another pregnancy test because after having my miscarriage, I was always paranoid then that I was pregnant afterwards or I wasn't paranoid. I was always, I guess I was hopeful that I was get, going to get pregnant afterwards. But anyway, so after having my miscarriage, I just cont can, I just every month was taking a pregnancy test just to see if I was pregnant and, um, it was always negative. So I, so when I was at Walmart and this little annoying voice was telling me, oh, you should take a pregnancy test. I was kind of like getting frustrated with myself. Cause I'm like, I'm just going to go and buy this test. And it's going to be negative. And then it's just going to be one of those things. And I don't want to waste money today. So anyway, I just continued grocery shopping. Then after I was done, I, I was like, whatever. And I ended up in the pregnancy test aisle. So I go and I'm like, okay, I'll just get a, a cheap, Walmart brand pregnancy test. So I went down the aisle and they had the cheap little Walmart test locked up in these boxes. So you had to ask um, an employee to unlock these boxes so that you could get the test out. So I was like, oh, I got really mad. I'm like, what? They're like 88 cents. Why would you even lock up an 88 cent test? So I, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to ask someone to open this box. That is so embarrassing. I can't believe they did that. So and then I, I was like, well, I'll just get a first response test. One of the ones where it's just like one test in the box or something. So I was going to get the cheapest first response test I could find. So I, there was one left and I went to get it and the box had been cut open and someone stole a freaking pregnancy test. And I'm like, if you have to steal a pregnancy test, you probably shouldn't be getting pregnant. So anyway, I was very judgmental at that point. Cause I was just so mad. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this person stole a pregnancy test. So then I ended up having to get the box of three tests, which is the m more expensive brain or the more expensive version of the first response tests. And then when I put them in my buggy, I was just so mad. I'm like, I, I was mad at myself. I was like, why am I even doing this? I'm going to go home and they're going to be negative. And it's just going to be like one of those things. Then I'm irritated the rest of the day and I'm mad at myself because I bought these freaking tests. And so I just, I don't know. I just didn't, I was not happy about the situation, but I still did it anyway. Cause you know, I get home and the first thing I did was take the box of pregnancy tests and my daughter upstairs. 
and I put my daughter in her room and then went across the hall and opened the box and took this test and then as soon as I took the test I like put the cap on it and I just looked at it and laid it on the counter and then I saw a line show up and I'm like yeah but that's just gonna be the control line and then no other lines gonna show up and then instantly another line showed up and then I started freaking out and I like started crying because I was like no way and I was like I thought I wasn't pregnant and so I was genuinely surprised there I was so 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 surprised that I was pregnant and I was so happy because after having a miscarriage just ha just knowing I was pregnant there was just something so so special about it just like went from this terrible experience of having a miscarriage and now I'm having a baby again and I, I don't know there and, and the line was solid like that was a solid line and I was just so happy because I'm like when I was having my miscarriage the line was so faint and it was like Oh, so it was so nice to see that there was a solid line on that test. The first person I told was my one-year-old daughter. So I ran across the hall and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like crying and my daughter's like looking at me like I'm weird. Because she's like, why is mommy acting funny? And I'm just like, I'm having a baby. You're going to be a big sister. And I honestly couldn't even wait to tell my husband. And my husband's not the type of person who likes surprises. He doesn't like waiting. Like if I know something, he's the type of person who wants to know when I know. So I, I was like, I can't wait till he gets home to tell him in person. So I just called him while he was at work and I was like, uh, you'll never believe what just happened. And I, I told him, I was like, I'm pregnant. And then he was, um, he, he was like really excited. And of course he wanted to see a picture. So I texted him a picture of my pregnancy test. Yeah. So anyway, that is how I found out I was pregnant with my rainbow baby. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please leave a nice comment down below. And I love you guys.